What is up, YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Chapel Hill, North Carolina this time. Uh, we've changed hotels. I'm in another part of the state, um, different part of the country uh, than I am normally. Um, but that is regardless. Uh, we are all here in Marvel Puzzle Quest land together. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, if you like what you see, every like, share, and subscribe is 100% free and always appreciated. It does help us grow the online community for Marvel Puzzle Quest and helps us reach other questers just like yourself. And as you can see here, we have a new Alliance PvE event in Thanos. And uh, I always like to do a little strategizing for these kind of events and help showcase what the boss is about and how to bring them down. Thanos, of course, being the big bad in the new uh, Marvel Avengers Infinity War, which comes out this week. Uh, well, not this week, but you know the week coming up. Um, so it's pretty exciting news. It's going to be a great movie. I'm looking forward to it a lot. I'm sure you are as well. If you're playing this game, you got to be a big Marvel fan. So uh, with that being said, you can see I've done a couple nodes already. i got a late start in this, so I'm behind in my alliance, but I'm sure I'm going to make up those points hopefully um, by the weekend, um, helping get those round rewards. Um, as you go through, there are progression for personal progress, of course, rewards, including three-star Star-Lord, four-star Yondu, if you make it up to the uh, six, uh, 668,000 mark. At 900,000, you get a Covert Ops Recruit token for a chance at that new five-star cap, which is uh, in the game as of today. Round... Uh, one is a token, round two through four is Daredevil, uh, rounds five through seven are Quake covers, four-star Quake, and then of course round eight, when completed, is another Covert Ops recruit token for that Captain America pack. <clears throat> so of course, very enticing rewards. Quake is a, a very good uh, support character. She's one of my champions. Daredevil um, is nearing the 266 mark in my roster, so I'm sure I'm going to get another legendary token from him as well by adding those rewards in. And hopefully you get some of those awesome rewards as well. The Mad Titan Thanos, this is five-star uh, boss, but this is not the same as five-star Thanos that's on the roster. The colors are the same, but the abilities are going to be a little bit different. Um, you get some you know, personal rewards for eight first eight completions and a lot more points than the individual boss nodes. <clears throat> so let's take a look. Um, I have been using this team primarily, uh, Patch Wolverine, Hawkeye, and Yondu. You get full rainbow coverage, which I always aim for. It's not important to everybody, but for this case, they're all powered up, so it works. Um, Patch Wolverine, of course, um, having a 535 build. I'm looking to actually generate some of those enemy tiles. Um, he has a healing factor, which is great, getting the health back. Hawkeye. At a 535 build for that no good news. And that black cover uh, is actually going to, when you match enemy special tile, gain two blue and two purple AP. Um, that will fuel his uh, purple because boomerangs and the blue we're going to share with Yondu. Yondu's blue packs a huge punch. He's my most powered up character in this event that I have. Um, this doesn't. Uh, maybe it does. Deals 22,000 damage, which is basically enough to one-shot Thanos at this level. In higher rounds, it's going to still do a lot of damage, maybe not one-shot. Um, and then it has a passive damage for um, 3683 to the enemy with the lowest health, which is a 1v1 fight, or you know, one enemy fight in Thanos. So that's kind of the strategy I'm going with. I'm relying on Yondu's blue, Hawkeye's black, and Wolverine's green, maybe his red, and then Hawkeye's purple. So that's that's pretty much the team. I've been breezing through these events. I don't care about these random power-ups. I'm not going to need them. Um, but you see these unnumbered color tiles on the board. These are the Infinity Stone tiles. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet passively, um, instead of his court death ability, creates a two-turn gauntlet that charges and destroys the entire row, dealing massive damage and gaining triple AP. The gauntlet cannot be matched and won't fall. Infinite Power creates a three-turn purple countdown tile while it's on the board. Thanos deals an extra 45% damage and no tiles may be destroyed or changed except by Thanos. 
tiles may still be removed and matched. This means that Wolverine's uh, strike tiles will not appear on the board um, when this tile is active. And then Infinity Stones is uh, another green passive instead of Come Get Me, which it normally would be. Uh, Thanos has harnessed the power of the Infinity Stones. Match each stone to steal its power from Thanos before it's too late. Tap a stone to see its power. And then passively, uh, again, Thanos cannot be stunned or sent airborne, which is a pretty uh, normal thing for most of these alliance-based boss fights. Just like Ultron or Galactus, Kaecilius, you know, all those bosses cannot be stunned or sent airborne. So you have uh, six Infinity Stones, six colors, six colors in the game. This is very uh, tied in all together here. So the green is the Time Stone, just like the Eye of Agamotto. Uh, deals damage but not generating AP uh, and removes all green tiles from the board. Red is uh, the Reality Stone, or the uh, Ether from Thor. Uh, deals damage to Thanos. Infinity Stones, uh, whenever you match uh, the Soul Stone, which is the black, creates two critical tiles. The Soul Stone is not known where this is yet in the MCU. I'm sure it's going to be revealed in the Infinity War movie, but my guess is it's in Wakanda. A lot of people think that, um, black being for Black Panther. I'm sure that that ties in. Um, maybe it's black for the meteorite um, that struck... Wakanda and gave them all the vibranium. Uh, and then we have purple, which is the power stone, of course, from Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Ronan had this, and they got it back from the orb. Uh, this creates a random duplicate, non-purple, non-green infinity stone, so it can't make another purple or green color, uh, being that if it created green and there's no green, it wouldn't work. Uh, yellow being the mind stone, which Vision has in uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, it gives a burst of healing to your entire team, restoring them to full health. Oops. And then blue uh, space stone uh, from the Tesseract, of course. When you match, the space stone generates 30 AP of a random color, so it's just going to automatically stack you to max on a random color. Um, so uh, in previous fights, I have been able to make at least one match right off the bat, but I haven't got that opportunity in this board. Uh, so what I'm going to do is this. And there's that gauntlet. It's a two charge, uh, two turn charge, and then uh, gains triple AP and deals a bunch of damage. Cannot be matched away. So we are going to do this first. And that way we get the green out of the way so that he cannot steal that from us. And then we're just going to match here, destroy all the green tiles, create a little cascade action. He's going to damage Wolverine for a little bit, but he gains some health back. Very nice. Go for the black, get some criticals. Hope for a good match up there. All right. And then, let's see, purple's going to create an extra... I don't want to do that one just yet, so we're going to do this. Uh, let's see, we'll, uh, yeah, might as well. So we'll go here. Um, no good news, triggers with each of those matches, they count as enemy tiles or enemy special tiles, um, which is good. He's only got 160 left, but what I'm going to do here is match the yellow at the end, regain everybody's health to full, and... That's the end of the fight. So it's pretty straightforward at this level. It's not too complicated. Uh, we're able to oh bring him down to zero. Hey, check that out. So we get a command point for completion and progress rewards. Beautiful. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, he's at zero. I thought I saw a little thing on the bar. So we completed round four. We're going to get another Daredevil cover in just a second. Um, of course, That'll come after it registers that we've completed it. And yeah, that's that's pretty straightforward. So since we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and do a Behemoth Burrito. I haven't even seen this. As you can see, I haven't really logged in, uh, done this yet today. So this is Black Panther, Nico Minoru, and Wolverine. Um, yeah, this is an event that's in Deadpool's Daily Quest. Resets every day. Uh, you complete it, you get two command points. Uh, 
And this should not be a difficult fight as long as we can make the proper matches here. Okay. Perfect. So we got enough to do Rage of the Panther. Deals 44, 15. Okay, so I'm going to damage up uh, Cyclops here a little bit. And then we'll take everybody out in one shot. Okay. Gotta get rid of this purple somehow. Alright, we are going to do this. Create some extra strike tiles. These deal mm, 208 damage each extra. Let me do that. And then we don't have to worry about those trap tiles or matching them away. Pretty simple. Of course, uh, Nico Minora would have strengthened those tiles if we gave her a chance on the next turn. And then there's our round rewards for and progression. Ta-da! So thanks guys so much for watching. I hope this video was insightful. Um, hopefully you get some good tips and tricks for Thanos. Um, if you have a different team up that you're using, let me know. Because you're not just letting me know, you're letting everybody else watching this channel who sees this video know in the comment section down below. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mr. MPQ for more Marvel Puzzle Quest news and updates as they come out. And check out my fellow Alliance mates, John L. Media and uh, Artem, as well as Kill Power. Uh, some of them are not still in the Alliance, but they're still great content providers for Marvel Puzzle Quest on Twitch and YouTube. So definitely share uh, some of the love in their direction. <clears throat> and until next time, as always, keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great night, great weekend.